time out of your busy day to come and practice with us. Um, we are doing yoga adaptive yoga today, and which means that we're going to be sitting in a chair most of the time. And uh, it is really designed for people with mobility uh, concerns. Maybe they have some limited range of motion due to a uh, medical condition, or maybe they have an appliance installed, like a knee or a hip, um, or uh, a spinal fusion of some sort. And it, it could also be for someone with a condition like Parkinson's, uh, MS, scoliosis, um, vertigo, uh, any of those things that would challenge our range of motion or our balance. So today we're going to be doing uh, our chair practice and you'll need one chair. You could use a second chair if you want. I have a second chair. If you don't have another chair, that's totally fine. Um, we're also going to be utilizing a strap. You might also, instead of a strap, if you don't have a regular yoga strap, you could also use a belt. You could use a dog leash. You could use one of the long beach towels. Um, but today I have with me, I'm going to be using a broomstick. Um, so if you don't have any of those other things, <laughs> hopefully you've got a broom at home. Um, my broomstick is actually a piece of uh, some PVC that I found in the garage. Um, so I'm going to be using that for part of the practice today. You're certainly welcome to, to head to the broom closet and grab your broom and join me. And not that this is like um, a witch's yoga today. It is not. Um, but we'll just be using it as a simple prop. Um, so I'm going to head back over to my chair and you can join me when you're ready. <clears throat> So I'm taking my shoes off. If you want to take your shoes off, you can. Uh, if you're at home and it's comfortable for you to leave your shoes on, feel free to do that. All right, my friends. Well, let's get started, shall we? So we'll start warming up our body. Um, if you're in Texas with me, it's a pretty chilly day. So I do have my sweatshirt on just because it's a little cool. Hey, how are you? Thank you for joining us. Um, if you're in another part of the country or another part of the world, uh, welcome. We're very delighted to have you join us today. So right here, we're going to start with our feet. So we'll start just lifting the heels, then lifting the toes, warming up uh, the feet, the ankles, the toes. Good. And then we'll switch. So we'll start kind of stomping those feet a little bit. It doesn't have to be a very heavy stomp, just kind of a slapping of the feet on the floor. We're not trying to bust the tiles up underneath our feet. <clears throat> All right. And then we'll start separating and then bringing the feet together. So a little fancy footwork as we warm up our lower body. Awesome. Now here, we'll bring those feet wide, and I'm going to move my bottom right into the middle of my chair, bringing the hands on the knees. As we inhale, we'll lift up through the chest, nice long spine, on the exhale, we're going to lean forward a little bit. So I'm using my hands on my knees to hold me up. And then press all the way back up to seated. And we'll lean forward again. And pressing all the way back up to seated. We'll do it two more times. Leaning forward. And then pressing back up to seated. And last one, leaning forward. And pressing back up to seated. Good. So I'm going to lean back in my chair. You can lean back in your chair too. I'm going to lift my heels up off of the floor. And then I'm going to rock my knees side to side. Just kind of giving my hips and thighs a little bit of a warm up. So what's interesting is, what I don't know about this 
is true for you, but as I do this, like, my britches are riding up, so if you need to pull your britches down out of some places, feel free to do that. And then come back to the center, and we'll sit up nice and tall, and you might want to scooch back in your chair for this one. Um, you can certainly sit towards the front part of your chair. It's just a whole lot more challenging. So if you're really wanting to build some core strength here, don't lean back in your chair. Sit up nice and tall. All right, so we're going to work with the arms here. On the inhale, imagine your arms are paint brushes and we're pulling them up. As we exhale, we're pulling them back down. Inhale, pulling those arms back up. And exhale, pulling them back down. Two more. Inhale, pulling them back up. And exhale, pulling down. And last one. Inhale, pulling them up. And exhale, pulling them down. Good. So this time we're gonna we're gonna um, hang on to our chair, and we're gonna work with those legs. So leaving the arms down as you. Inhale, lift just your uh, left foot up off the floor, and then exhale, lower. Now the right foot. Inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. Keep going. Inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. And inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. Can we add an arm? So inhale, lift your left foot and your right arm, and then exhale, lower. And we'll do the other side. Inhale, the right foot and the left arm. And exhale, lower. Keep going. Inhaling up. So we're moving slow. And exhale, lower. And inhaling up. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Exhale, lower. One more time each side. Inhaling up. And exhale, lower. And last one. Inhaling up. And exhale, lower. All right. So are you ready for both arms and both legs? I thought you were. So let's go ahead and get started then. All right. So instead of just lifting the feet up, we're going to straighten the legs out in front, and then we'll bend the knees. Remember, we're still sitting up nice and tall. All right. So inhale, straighten the legs forward, reach the arms up. And exhale, come back down. Again, inhale, straighten the arms and legs. Exhale, lower. Two more. Inhaling up. And exhale. And last one. Inhale up. Now this time we're going to stay here. As you exhale, bring your hands down to your sides. On your inhale, bring those thumbs up overhead. Do they touch? Maybe, maybe not. That's okay. And exhale, bring those arms back down. And again, inhale, take those legs up. You feel those thighs warming up, the fronts of the legs. Exhale, down, mine too. And last one, inhale, bring those arms up. As you exhale, we'll lower the feet, lower the arms. Good. If you like, you can pound out those legs right here. So we got those... Thighs nice and warm on the front side. These are our quadriceps. Quad meaning four. There's four pieces of muscle that come down the front of those legs. And they're responsible for straightening those legs and lifting us. They're muscle movers. They move us forward. All right. So here the arms are going to go out to the side. As we inhale, sweep them up overhead. As you exhale, bring your arms down and turn your head to the right. Good. Inhale, take the arms, go all the way back up. Exhale, turn your head to the left. Good. We'll do that again. Inhale, arms go up. Exhale, lower the arms, turn the head to the right. Now squeeze your glutes, not with your hands, just with your muscles. <laughs> And then inhale, relax the glutes, reach the arms up, look forward. And exhale, bring the arms down, turn the head to the left, and squeeze your glutes. Push down through your feet. Good. Inhale, come back to the middle, relax through the glutes. 
Exhale, bring the arms down, turn the head, squeeze the glutes. Push down through your feet. Nice. One more time. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale, arms down, squeeze the glutes, turn the head. Now here, keep your glutes contracted. Inhale, reach those arms up overhead. Turn the palms forward. As you exhale, pull the elbows down to the side. Glutes are still contracted, right? Inhale, go all the way back up. Again, exhale, pull the elbows down, still holding those glutes. Once more, inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, pull the elbows down, squeeze the glutes a little harder. Now this time, inhale, take the arms, go all the way up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze in those glutes. And then exhale, relax them, relax the arms to the sides. Go ahead and roll your shoulders a couple of times. All right, so that posterior just got real warm real quick, didn't it? Mine did. I think it just shot up about 10 degrees in this room. All righty. So go ahead and relax through those shoulders. And we're going to scooch forward in our chair just a little bit. So our feet are as wide as our chair, maybe a little bit wider. And we'll do, thank you, <laughs> and we'll do some, bring the hands onto the knees. As you inhale, lift up through the chest. On the exhale, we're going to fold all the way forward. Go as far forward as you can fold, using your hands to support yourself. Take a breath or two right here. One more, inhale and exhale. And then with your next inhale, use your hands to press yourself all the way back up. Nice. All righty. So walking those feet in towards one another. I want you to squeeze your knees together right here. So also squeeze your, um, contract your glutes right here. Good. Now push down through your feet into the floor. Did you feel your really get engaged right here? Yeah, mine too. So the glutes are contracted, the abs are contracted, the inner thighs are contracted. So they're all working together, right? Now reach your arms straight out in front. It's hard to sit up straight in this, isn't it? Good. Now inhale, lean back just a little bit, not quite to the chair, and then exhale, come back up. Wow, that's really freaking hard. Inhale, let's do it again. Inhale, lean back just a little bit. Keep squeezing your knees and pushing them to the floor, and then come back up. And one more time, push down through the feet, squeeze the knees, lean backwards, contract through the glutes, and then come back up. And then go ahead and relax the arms, relax the legs. Whoo, buddy. All right, so we're going to lean back in the chair. Grab your left knee and pull it up into your chest. Maybe rock it side to side right here. Nice. All right, so we're hanging on to that leg. As you inhale, we're going to straighten it out in front. And exhale, bend it. I'm going to switch chairs. Inhale, straighten that leg. And exhale, bend. Your leg may not go straight, and that's totally fine. Inhale, straighten. Do the best that you can. Exhale. And one more time. Inhale, straighten. And exhale, release. Go ahead and let that foot come down to the floor. Give your hands a nice little shake. So we're not sitting straight up. So this is not a very good way for you to see. But I'm, my spine is straight, but I just leaned back. So my bum is kind of forward in my chair. And now we'll bring the left leg. Bring that knee up into the chest. I'm hanging on to the back side of that leg. My knee is soft. That leg is just really kind of hanging there. On the inhale, we'll contract this part of our leg, which straightens our leg. 
and then exhale, release. Again, inhale, contract the quadriceps, straightening the leg, and exhale, release. Good, two more. Inhale, straighten that leg, and exhale, release. And last one, inhale, straighten the leg, and exhale, release. Good, go ahead and release that foot to the floor. Shake those hands out, and you can sit up nice and tall right here. All right, so we are going to move on to our arms and our hands. So a couple of options for you today. You may have a strap. So your strap, it could be a yoga strap. It could be a belt. It could be a uh, scarf. It could be a dog leash. It could be a tie because, you know, everybody's got those ties in their their uh, their um, closet that they never wear. Right, so you could use that. Um, also is, I have a stick with me today. So if you don't have any of those things, maybe you use a stick, right? So right here, my stick is a piece of PVC directly from China. Ooh, yeah, from China. Um, so I'll, I hosed it off <laughs> before I started using it. And I'm going to reach the sucker straight up into the air, okay? So my arms are a little bit wider than my shoulders, and I'm going to hang on to it. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go side to side, feeling the side body open up, and then the other side open up. So you can come along with me using your broomstick or your baseball bat or I don't know if you were in my house it'd be like I asked my husband the other day honey can you give me I know this is gonna sound really bad I said honey can you give me something long and stiff yeah so anyway the husband walks out with the shotgun seriously y'all he had a shotgun in his hand so I'm just like okay well at least he didn't go um, really astray. Um, anyway, so you can use whatever prop you want, including a shotgun if you got it. All right, so right here, we're going to open the hands up maybe a little wider. Can you start to drop it behind you? If you have a strap or whatever other prop you're using other than a stick, Feel free to do the same thing. You might have to let your hands open up a little bit wider. But notice how you feel this big stretch through the front of the shoulders, through the chest. And we're just kind of opening up through that region. And as we're opening through the front side of the body, guess what's happening in the back side? All those muscles back there are contracting. When they contract, guess what they're getting? Blood flow. So this will help if you're feeling tight through your upper shoulders. This will definitely help that. So let's do one more time, lowering, and then bringing the arms back up. Awesome. So right here, we're going to bring that prop down in front of us. So no matter what it is that you have, if you have your strap or your towel or your stick, whichever, we're going to bring, the, bring it to the palms of the hands, palms face up. And the elbows are right next to our side. So I'm going to turn sideways so you can see. So I'm right here. So the hands are even with my elbows. On the inhale, we're going to present. We're presenting it. So present, and then exhale, we pull it back. Inhale, we present. Do you feel that stretch between your shoulder blades? Good. And lower back down. Two more. Present. There you go. And then lower. And last one. Present. Reaching the arms forward. And then releasing. Good job. Alrighty. So you can put that prop down. We're finished with it for now. You can move all that stuff out to the side. How do your arms feel? They feel okay? 
All right, so if you were gripping onto a strap, your fingers are probably like, eh. All right, so let's do a little bit of finger work right here, okay? So open your palms forward. We're going to touch our index finger to our thumb, then our middle finger, then our ring finger, and then our pinky finger. So go back. Ring finger, middle finger, index finger. And go back again. Middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger. And go back. Ring finger, middle finger, index finger. And then separate your hands as wide as you can and bring your palms together so that your fingers are overlapping each other, okay? And then we're going to let the fingers go to one side. So this hand, the fingers are pressing down on the others and then go to the other side. So now these fingers are pressing down. Good. And we'll go back one more time each side. Good. Now I want you to draw the thumb back and down. Just really opening through this region of the hand. Good. And then the other side. So don't pull so hard that a thumb pops off. It's not what this is about. We just want to stretch the underside of the hand. All right. Good job. So wiggle those fingers around. Now I want you to act like you're playing the piano, right? So we're here, we're wiggling those fingers, playing the piano, playing, I don't know, what is it that they play, scales? No? Okay. Now play the piano upside down. So flip your palms over and then do your scales that way. So it's a very different sensation that we have on our forearms when we're in this position. The backs of the hands are actually getting a pretty good workout right here. Yeah. All righty. And then relax. All right. Shake them out. And then we'll interlace the fingers, flip the palms forward, and press. Good. So although the arms are pressing forward, we're drawing the shoulders back. With your next inhale, draw the arms up overhead. And as you exhale, bring them back down. Inhale, take the arms up overhead. And exhale, back down. One more. Inhale, taking the arms go up. Exhale, bringing them down. And go ahead and release the hands, shake them out. All right. So our hands are ready to go, right? Perfect. So let's move into some lower body stuff and do a little bit of balance. So you are welcome to stay sitting in the chair and do the best that you can right here with some of the balance stuff uh, or with some of the lower body strengthening stuff. Um, I'm actually going to come to standing and I'm going to be moving my chairs around. So um, I'm going to try and do the least amount of chair movement that I can for you. All right. So go ahead and stand up, and you're going to face your chair. All right. So I'm going to shed my jacket because it's actually it's getting pretty warm. It's like 62 degrees in here, but the practice has got me kind of warmed up. Right? You? Awesome. Okay. So standing behind our chair, feet or hips distance apart. On the inhale, we'll sweep the arms open and up. On the exhale, we're going to bend the knees, hinge at the hips, and bring the hands to the chair. On the next inhale, straighten through your legs and maybe looking forward a little bit. And then exhale, softening through the knees. Now arms open wide. Inhale, slowly come all the way back up to standing. And exhale, release those arms down to the side. So we're doing some sun salutations right here. Inhale, sweep those arms open and up. On the exhale, we bend at the knees, hinge at the hips, bring the hands to the chair. With your next inhale, straighten the front leg, or straighten all your legs. Oh, this just sound bad. 
and look forward. And then exhale, soften the knees. Inhale, arms open wide. Lift all the way back up. And exhale, release the arms to the sides. We're going to do one more just like that. Inhale, sweep the arms open and up. On the exhale, bend the knees, hinge at the hips, hands to the chair. As you inhale, straighten through the legs a little bit. You might look forward and exhale, soften the knees. Inhale, arms come all the way back up. And exhale, release the arms down to the sides. Nice. So right here, we're going to separate our feet a little bit wider than the chair. Okay? <clears throat> All right, so our feet are a little bit wider than the chair. You can have your hands on your hips as we do this. You can bring the hands into the chair. It's totally up to you. So take a deep breath in. As you exhale, we're going to bend our knees, lean forward, let the hands come into the chair. If you're really tall, then it might be more comfortable for you to bring the elbows into the chair. I meant if you're really short, not if you're really tall. But if you're tall and flexible and this is comfortable for you, kill it, man. Go for it. All right, so right here we're going to rock those hips side to side. You might hear some cracking and popping in there. Hopefully a leg doesn't fall off. Keep breathing right here. Good. And come back to the center. Now this time, instead of letting your hips rock side to side, we're actually going to bend one knee. So one knee bends, and then the other knee bends. If you're like me, and right now your arthritis in your knee is really, really inflamed, then maybe you stay with the hips rocking side to side and keep the knees straight. Good, and when you're ready, we'll come back to the center. And I'm going to have you turn your toes out just a little bit. So the toes point out at maybe a 45 degree angle. And we're going to bend those knees, let your hips sink, and then we'll straighten those knees, okay? Bend the knees. And then straighten the knees. So you might be high up here. Bending the knees. And straightening through the knees. And one more. Bending the knees. And straightening. Good. So this time, bend your knees just a little bit. We're going to shift our weight backwards into maybe the heels of the foot. We'll bring the hands onto the hips. And then press all the way up to standing. Good. Here, go ahead and heel toe your feet towards one another. All right. And we're going to practice our chair pose. So your chair pose, you might want, if you need something to hang on to, two or a couple of options. You can turn your chair around. You can walk over to the table or the countertop or behind the couch. Um, having something to hang on to. You're also welcome to use a wall. So you can do it with a wall in front of you or the wall next to your side, whichever makes sense for you, okay? All right. The feet are hips distance apart. And as you inhale, we're going to lift the heels. Exhale, lower the heels and bend the knees. Inhale, Come all the way up, lift the heels, exhale, lower the heels and bend the knees. Two more, inhale, going all the way back up, and exhale, lowering down. And last one, inhaling up, and exhale, lowering down. Of course, you know we're staying here, right? All right. So stay here, take a deep breath in, on your exhale, can your hips go backwards anymore? Maybe? Good, take another breath in, 
On your exhale, stay here. We'll do one more deep breath in. On your exhale, maybe the hips go a little lower. And then on your next inhale, push all the way up to standing. Lift your heels up. And then exhale, release. Good job. If you need to shake those legs out, go right ahead. If you need to pound out those quadriceps a little bit, you can do that as well. All right. So we're going to be behind our chair, <clears throat> and we'll separate our feet a little wide. So wider, certainly wider than our body. And the foot that's closest to the chair, we're going to turn that foot and point it up underneath the chair. The foot furthest away from the chair, we're going to turn that heel out just a little bit. Okay? So you know where we're going, right? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, so our warrior two. All right. So deep breath in. On your exhale, bend the knee closest to the chair. Inhale. Come back up. Exhale, bend the knee next to the chair. Inhale, coming up. So use the chair, don't use the chair. Exhale. And inhale. Good, two more. Exhale. And inhale. And last one. Exhale. And inhale. Now this time we're going to stay here, bending the knees, and turn your palms forward. So if you're hanging onto your chair, it's just one arm doing the work. It's just doing this, okay? If you're not hanging onto your chair, it's both arms. Exhale, we bring the arms together. Inhale, we open them up wide. Exhale, bringing them together. Inhale, open up wide. Two more. Exhale together, inhale, open, last one, exhale together, and inhale, open, and then go ahead and relax your arms, relax your legs, turn the feet so that they're parallel with each other, and maybe rock your hips side to side, maybe that leg gets a little extra attention right there. All right, so you can turn and face the other direction. I'm actually going to just move my chair over to the other end of my mat so that I can still face you. You do want to make sure that you're working with a chair that doesn't have wheels on it. I forgot to mention that earlier. Uh, the chair might slide away from you. We don't want you falling out or sliding out from underneath you. All right, the foot closest to the chair is going to turn into the chair. The foot away from the chair, the heel turns away. Awesome. All right, so we're working with our breath right here. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. And inhale, straighten. So making sure that the knee is not going out past the toes. That's partially why the chair is there to make sure that we're not going out too far. We also want to make sure that it's not falling in or out. It's just pointing straight out to the side. Good. So right here, you can stay with that, hanging onto the chair. You can have the arm stretched out. We'll do two more. Exhale, bending the knee. Inhale, straightening. And last one, exhale, bend. And inhale, straighten. Now this time, bend the knee and stay right there. We'll turn the palms forward. So if you're hanging onto your chair, it's an exhale and inhale with just the one arm. If there's no chair involved, exhale, hands together. And inhale, arms open wide. Exhale, together. And inhale, open. And two more. Exhale together. And inhale. Open. Last time. Exhale together. And inhale. Open. And go ahead and relax the arms. Relax the legs. And we'll turn the feet so that they're parallel with each other. And go 
go ahead and rock those hips side to side. Maybe that leg needs a little extra attention right there. Good. All right. So here we're going to go ahead and face our chair. So standing to the back of our chair. And we're going to bring the left foot up close to the chair. The right foot, we're going to step it backwards. All right. Good. So now our hips are facing the chair. So we have this warrior one that we're getting ready to do. The back foot is flat on the floor. And we bend through the front knee. And we straighten. Okay, so what happens if you bend the knee and then it hurts right at the kneecap? What do we do? We just don't bend as much, right? Or we can lift the front toes up off of the floor that will also prevent us from bending too deeply. All right? So you can pick whichever one, or maybe you just back your chair up so that you only go so far so that you're protecting yourself, okay? All right. So a few times, exhale, bend the front knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. And inhale, straighten. You should feel maybe that right hip starting to loosen up a little bit. Feel that nice stretch down that hip. And one more like that. Bend the knee. And straighten. Now this time we're going to bend that front knee and we're going to leave it there. Okay? So your, your left hand could be on your hip or on the chair. And we're going to work that right arm. So as you inhale, the right arm goes up. Maybe you follow it with your eyes. And then exhale, it comes back down. The legs stay right where they are. Inhale, that arm goes up. Feel that opening down that side of the body. And exhale, back down. Two more. Inhale, going up. And exhale, down. And last one, inhaling up. And exhaling down. Good. Go ahead and relax your front leg. And we'll step that back foot forward. Wow. So if you need to shake something out, maybe you need to do a hula, whatever works for your body. Nice. All right. So we'll get set up for that other side. Right here, we'll bring the right foot forward to the chair. And the left foot is going to step backwards. So your feet can go as far apart as comfortable for you so that you don't feel like you're going to fall over. And if you need to, the feet can be staggered. They don't have to be in. This is hard to balance right here. So if you need your feet to be a little wider diagonally, then go ahead and do that, okay? All right, so the right foot is forward, the left foot is back. My feet are almost as wide as the legs of the chair, okay? All right, so working with our breath. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, bend that front knee. So what do we do if it hurts? Right, lift your toes or scooch the chair back. Inhale, straighten through the front leg. And exhale, bend through that knee, stretching through this hip, maybe the lower leg back there, inhaling up. And exhale, bend the knee. And two more, inhaling up. And exhale, bend the knee. And last one, inhaling up. And exhale, bend the knee. This time we're going to stay right here, working with the left arm. As you inhale, that arm goes up, and you feel that stretch all the way down that whole left side of the body. And then exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, take that arm up. Maybe you follow it with your eyes. If that makes you dizzy, leave it out. And again, inhale, arm goes up, and exhale. So would you say that the arm is really just a distraction for the legs? Because the legs are getting a really good workout. They're staying here. It's an isometric contra contraction. Contraction. It's like a contraction with a distraction. There you go. And one more. Inhale. The arm goes up. And exhale down. Good. Go ahead and relax your legs. 
and we'll step the back foot forward to meet the front foot. Good. If you need to shake something out, roll it out, twist it out, pound it out, whatever. That one always gets me in my foot. I don't know why, but that foot is always just really fatigued afterwards. All right. So let's get into a true balance, shall we? So we're going to do tree pose. You can do tree pose hanging onto your chair, or you can do tree pose up against a wall. It's totally up to you wherever you want to take your tree pose. You can even do tree pose sitting in a chair. Obviously, it's going to have less of a balance um, application to it, um, but you can do it if you need to. All right. So I'm going to hang on to my chair. Actually, I'm going to be between two chairs today. All right. <clears throat> so one of my students donated to us this big, beautiful, round mat. Isn't that awesome? Um, so now we, I feel like I'm on stage <laughs> instead of just behind a camera. All right. So standing up nice and tall. And we're going to shift our weight into our left foot. Okay? So the weight goes into the left foot, and we'll lift the right heel. We'll take the right knee and turn it out to the side. So my heel can be right up against my ankle, it can be there, or I can bring the sole of the foot up onto my shin. I'm hanging onto my chair, so it's the balance um, part of this is going to be a little bit um, easier for me to do because I'm hanging onto my chairs. But guess what? We can always make it more challenging if we need to, okay? So come with me if this is favorable for you. I want you to stand up a little bit taller. So like I'm kind of slunched, right? So I'm going to lift my hip away from the floor a little bit. Did you see that? I got a little bit taller. Now I'm going to lift my heart up away from the floor. I got a little bit taller. Now I'm going to lift the crown of my head up away from the floor. So I think I've probably gained, you know, a, about an inch or two in height. Okay? Now... Right here, notice the effort that's going on on that standing leg. You don't actually need to do anything more than this. But if you want to, maybe you bring your hands to your hips and actually uh, feel your body holding itself in space. Good. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. If you're ready, maybe you bring your hands to your heart, or you might take one of your arms and reach it up to the ceiling. Keep breathing. You're doing a great job. Keep at it. Don't give up. Nice. And on your next exhale, relax the hand and let that foot come back down to the floor. Woo! Go ahead and shake it out. Wow, those quads are really getting a good workout today, aren't they? Awesome. But that's what we need, is the legs to be very strong as we're, do, as we're maneuvering our way through life. Because I'm want to. i tired of tripping over carpet, y'all. I don't like tripping on the little bitty thing that doesn't even really exist, according to my husband. All right, so we're going to go to that other side, standing up nice and tall, shifting your weight into that right foot, Lifting the left heel and turning that left knee out to the side. Good. So you can let the toes stay on the floor, the heel right against the ankle, and stay there. If you like, you can lift that foot up a little bit higher, and it's right up on your shin. Good. All right. So check in with your posture. Are we slouching? Now we're going to lift that right hip up away from the floor. Yeah, push through that standing leg. This is actually what's happening. Now lift the heart up away from the floor. Yeah, so we lengthened through the whole spine. Now lengthen the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. Yeah, like I even want to look up. <laughs> Just to get a little bit longer. Nice. You can stay hanging on to the chairs right here, 
You can bring your hands to your hips if you like. Maybe you bring your hands to your heart if you like. Now, if you're fatigued and you need a break, go right ahead. But I challenge you to stay with us. Maybe you take one arm and reach it up towards the ceiling. Keep breathing. Press down through that foot. Reach up through that arm. Stretch down that side body. Take another deep breath in. Reach, reach, reach. As you exhale, relax the arm. Let the foot come back down. Good job. And go ahead and shake that out. I know you all did a great job. All right, go ahead and rock your hips side to side. If you need to wiggle out a foot, go right ahead. Nice. All righty. So we're going to do a little bit of seated stuff again. So um, come back into your chair. I'm going to scooch this chair out to the side. All right, so come back, have a seat in that chair. All right. So you can sit right in the middle of your chair. You can lean back into it if you prefer. As you inhale, sweep those arms up overhead. On the exhale, we're going to twist to the right. So let your front hand fall to your knee. And inhale, come back up to the center. And then exhale, twist to the left. The front hand falls to the outer knee. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, twist to the right. So my back hand's hanging onto my chair. And the inhale, come back up to the center. And exhale, twist the other way. And one more time each side. Inhaling up and exhaling, twist. Inhale, coming back up. And exhale, twist. Now this time, inhale, come back up to the center. On the exhale, we're going to fold over those legs. Good. So with our, with our breath, on the inhale, we'll lift up part way so that the spine is nice and long. And then exhale, fold back over. Now take the arms, open them up wide. Inhale, lift back up to seated. And exhale, release the arms down to the sides. Again, inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. On the exhale, hinge over, bringing the arms towards the floor. Inhale, lifting up part way. And exhale, lower back down. Arms open wide. Inhale, lift all the way back up. And exhale, release the arms to the sides. Once more, inhale, sweeping the arms open and up. And exhale, folding over. Inhale, lifting up halfway. And exhale, folding over. Arms open wide. Inhale, lift all the way back up. And on the exhale, bring the arms down to the sides. Perfect. All right. So we're going to stretch out through those hips and through the quadriceps a little bit. Okay? Turning sideways on our mat. And I'm, I'm, I, just, just watch. You can figure this out, right? Uh, Y'all are brainiacs. You can do it. All right. So I'm going to take one leg and bring it behind. So this knee is actually straight down towards the floor. Okay? So what I want to do is I just want to stretch through the front side of this hip. Okay? Now, if you have more range of motion, maybe you start to scooch that foot backwards. You start to straighten through that leg. If it doesn't do that for you, do not even worry about it. This right here is a good stretch. Okay. We'll take a couple more breaths right here. Okay. 
And then we'll release that leg and we're going to go to our other side. So spinning our booty around. We got that other cheek hanging off the chair and we got that knee. It's dropping straight down. And here the back toes are curled up underneath. I know Carol. I know you're so people who are really tall in a short chair, this sucks, right? I totally get it. <laughs> um, so if yours, your foot is maybe out to the side, that's totally fine. It might not be straight back behind you. It might be out to the side a little bit. But we're just kind of stretching through the front side of this leg. Maybe your knee is dropping straight down. And then when you're ready, we're going to come back to the center. Awesome. All right, so a little figure four stretch. We're going to bring, you might just cross your ankles in front of you. This might be it for you. You might bring your ankle up on top of your knee. That might be it for you. If you have the other chair and you want to use it as a prop, you can do that. You can have your leg out to the side. The knee is bent and the leg is externally rotated. You can do that too. Alrighty. So right here we're just going to rock. So I want you to hang on to the knee. Hang on to the ankle. Inhaling back a little bit. Exhaling forward just a hair. We don't want to cause any trauma in the knee. We don't want to cause any trauma in the low back. We're just kind of rocking it the way you would rock a baby. Not violent. It's very nurturing here. Good. And let's do one more. And then go ahead and release. And we're going to do that opposite side. So you might cross the left leg in front. You might bring it up on top of your right knee. You might have that chair off to the side with your leg up in it. That's totally fine too. But the hand is on the ankle, the hand is on the knee, and right here we're just gently rocking, nurturing the hip. And sometimes you might feel it more on the outside of the hip. And sometimes people feel it more on the inside of the hip. It just depends on where your body ha it holds its tension. And we'll do a couple more right here. And then when you're ready, we'll go ahead and release. Bringing that foot down to the floor. Nice. Alrighty. So we're going to get ourselves um, ready for our Shavasana. So your Shavasana might be sitting up in a chair. Your Shavasana might be lying down on the floor. It might be lying in your bed. It might be lying on the couch. It might be in one of those recliners that goes all the way backwards. Whatever that looks like for you, I want you to make yourself comfortable right here, okay? Um, so I want to give you the option today is if you prefer and you want to do maybe legs up in the chair or legs up on the couch or um, legs up on the wall for your Shavasana, maybe you incorporate that today for yourself. Um, but take it wherever you need it. If you know that, you know, you get into legs up the wall and then you get stuck and you can't get out, you call me and I'll come help you. <laughs> but maybe picking a different option today. Alrighty. So starting to make yourself um, cozy into whatever place is suited for you. So maybe it's in your chair, maybe it's on the floor, couch or bed, recliner. But once you get into that space, go ahead and close your eyes. And take a big breath of air in, as big as you possibly can. Hold 
your breath there for just a second, and then exhale. And we'll do it again. Inhale, breathe in as much air as you possibly can. Hold that breath at the top. Now take another little sip of air, and then blow it out. Let's do it one more time. Breathe in deeply, as much air as you can. So you're totally full. Now hold that breath there. Take another sip of air. Hold that breath there. I want you to really focus on the exhale. As you exhale, blow the air out and relax your body. Now stay here breathing. Feel your face soften. Feel the jaw soften. Feel the throat soften. Feel the chest and shoulders soften. Feel the arms and hands soften. Feel the belly and the back soften. Feel the hips and the upper legs soften. Feel the knees and lower legs soften. Feel the hands and the feet soften. Feel the eyes and the brain relax. Feel the sinuses and the tongue relax. Feel the lungs and the heart relax. Feel the diaphragm and the stomach relax. Feel the large intestine and the small intestine relax. Feel the kidneys and the spleen relax. Feel the pancreas, liver, and gallbladder relax, even if they're missing. Feel the reproductive organs relax. Feel the bladder relax. Feel the long muscles down the arms and the legs relax. Feel the ligaments and the tendons along the spinal column relax. Even feeling the skin soften and relax. Begin to deepen your breath. Start to reanimate the body, wiggling the fingers and toes. Rolling the wrists and ankles. On your next inhale, sweep the arms, open it up, reaching tall, fingertip to toe tip. 
As you exhale, bring the arms down to the sides and we'll begin to press ourselves up to seated. So if you're lying down, please press yourself up. If you want to go straight into a nap, feel free, you deserve it. And once you're upright, on your next inhale, we'll sweep the arms open and up. On your exhale, bringing the hands together at the heart. I thank you for joining us this afternoon for your practice. It has been my honor and privilege to uh, serve you some chair yoga today. Thank you for joining me, and we'll see you again on Thursday. Namaste. Great job, everybody. I'm so proud of you. You all stuck in there. Great job. It's awesome to see. Oh, look at Andrea joined us. Hi, hey, Shane and Kathy and Kalpana. So we'll see you all again on Thursday, 1 o'clock, right here, Facebook Live.